Hello, how is it going guys? Patch 1.6 is here. It's time to get some deck guides out. I just want to quickly add that uh, the expand, these like patch cycles coming really quickly and I'm making these deck guides, which I really enjoy making, right? But however, because the patch cycle is so quick, I think it's best if I just kind of, I want to keep just doing these deck guides. I want to keep like updating them and uh, keeping you guys up to date with lists I think are pretty good and you can take the ladder and win some games and I'm a, I'm a huge fan of Twisted Fate Ezreal I'm not running on a script I'm just spitting words out of my mouth but anyway Twisted Fate Ezreal is like one of my favorite decks and it's something I always like look for in every single meta now and uh, yeah I want to share with you guys this one I'm gonna not take full credit for this but I've taken ideas from these decks and those decks and out and about even on Mobilytics their main meta deck that was worked on by Swimming etc but one of the biggest coolest cards right now is pick a card in twisted fate ezreal you just don't run out of gas this card's very tricky to use and in control matchups you wait till later in the game if possible in hopes that you don't discard some valuable cards because in the early game these cards are going to be fleeting right so that is a bit of a problem you have to be super careful but this is like the new flavor at the moment and uh it, i don't know why we didn't play with this card uh card earlier I think this card's incredibly powerful and insane in terms of card draw. And you've got plenty of great targets for it. And then if you have like a fleeting card that's like not as valuable, then it doesn't hurt too much. You'd hate to see like double Riptide Rex go, but that's not always going to happen. This is going to be testing your skill dramatically, but very cool card. Let's run down the current list. So it's going to be three Riptide Rex always at the moment. Uh, this is just insane, insane power and like literally this is like one of the cards that wins you the game outside of Ezreal sometimes. I'm running a single copy of Zap Sprayfin for continuous cycle and as a one-off, I like these one-offs now. I'm kind of like getting a little bit uh, intrigued by running single copies of cards for the off chance that they do something kind of interesting. And at the moment with Elusive being less prevalent, I can see this being like an alternative card draw uh, system. It's like unlike running Salvage or something, this has a body behind it we draw one we attune it's a pretty good card we could run more copies of this but at the moment i'm gonna run one of as an experiment but definitely you can change this card around if you don't prefer it uh yoda grifter is going to be three copies of still i've managed to trim down our odds to 26 14 making yoda grifter's chances extremely high and gra granting that warning shot is the most important thing for activating riptide rex and most interestingly enough Zornite Urching in Urchine. In some matchups, you can be discarding these warning shots as good fodder for cycling through your deck, or you can like get rid of early game picker cards that you don't think are going to help you too much in a specific matchup. And you can also get rid of the fleeting cards with the discard. So it's not the most painful thing. You find useless cards for Merchant too. You can use them on Urchine. Urchine's just, uh, Zornite is just insane right now. I think it's going to be a great card for decks like this. Twisted Fate is going to be three copies of. Now in this list, we have easier ways of actually leveling up Twisted Fate. And Twisted Fate is starting to become more of a real option for a win condition. As well as Ezreal, of course. But now you have like so many different ways of winning. It's really cool. Uh, you can also win through the board by playing cards like Zornite on the curve. Merchant, Dead Ray, uh, Ezreal, Petty Officer. Some matchups you don't play Ezreal, right? But you can sometimes take over the board, which is very relevant. For pushing chip damage and uh, figuring out a certain way to win, right? There's going to be many different ways you can pilot it. Trimming down Static Shock now, it's uh, with pick a card in this list, Static Shock is less useful. It's good for leveling up Ezreal, but you level up Ezreal all at once with Riptide Rex. Static Shock gets trimmed down now, this uh, was before pretty much just full copies of. Now, I just it just doesn't feel good, especially if you're playing for the board, fine for the tempo. This is quite expensive for the amount of damage it deals to units. Running a single copy of Gotcha because I like Gotcha as a one of right now. I think it's a card that you don't want to see too many copies of because playing at a four mana sucks. But playing at a two mana is pretty crazy. And with the amount of cycle here and there, you're going to find a, th a two mana of Gotcha that might be useful. Gotcha is not useful. You can discard it if it's four mana. Pilfered Goods is a single copy of just to kind of trim out the deck and find more usefulness with the merchants and the warning shot. Don't want to run any more copies of this. You can consider taking out Zap Spray Fin for maybe a second Pilfer Goods if you'd like to. That is an option. Uh, Petty Office is going to be three copies of, almost auto include in this kind of list. Three copies of Ezreal, three copies of Mystic Shot, three Make It Rains. I'm just running one single team Dead Dreadway deckhand because uh, it can have some unique situations in the early game, but as you draw it later in the game, it is not as useful. Finding this early is the most relevant. I want to kind of get a bit more greedy on the top end. I've always thought Dreadway Deckhand was one of the more weaker cards in this list. 
Uh, Merchant's going to be pretty good still, and Thermo Beams for some more hardcore removal. In terms of the Mulligan, you know, look for your cards that cost roughly this much against Aggro. Look for a Curve even. Zornite, Merchant, Petty Officer, you can just discard whatever other cards in your hand that's not on Curve with Zornite. Against Control, you can keep like Merchant, you want to keep maybe Warning Shot. Uh, don't keep Ezreal, don't keep the expensive stuff. Zap Sprayfin's a pretty good considerable keep against uh, Control as well as Yordle Grifter and Twist of Fate. If, you, if they're going to be super slow and not playing too much for the board, then you can keep a very greedy hand. Uh, if, if they're a bit more of a board-based control deck, I'm not sure what a good example is of that, but if, there, if a deck arises that plays like some beefy units, maybe like Lux Karma is a decent example of a deck that would play for the board, but that's not the best example, but you would still probably just like kind of look for the units instead and play on curve. You're going to find cards like pick a card that's going to help you cycle a deck later in the game. Um, it's great when you have Riptide Rexes in hand, it makes it a lot more easier for people playing pick a card too. So keep that in mind when you're about to play pick a card. If you can avoid using it knowing that you have three Riptide Rex in a deck, it might be worthwhile. If you have expensive cards in your hand, pick a card suddenly gets better. And it's also good for, um, against aggro you can consider just kicking the high value cards and looking for cheaper cards. And if you discard anything high value then you won't be too punished because the game's going to finish up a lot quicker. That roughly wraps up the deck list. I do hope you guys enjoy this. Let's go have a quick game so you guys can get a feel for the list. Uh, leave a like, that's much appreciated. I'm streaming over on Twitch, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Friday, and Saturday. Feel free to come pop in and uh, have a good time. You guys have a great day. Playing Lucian Z. Okay. Let's look for some cards. What is up, brother? Probably should have kept the Petty Officer. That may have been a slight overlook. Hey, you missed the one drop. Excellent. Mm. We should miss a shot, definitely. Force out of Ranger's Resolve now. That would be massive. I don't see the harm in developing here. Getting a kick onto the field is going to be cool. The 1 HP doesn't usually become too relevant. Summon a powder keg here. It's way more effective mystic shot. He gets to attack me. That is okay. I get to clear the Zed that is buffed to the shit house. Of course, unless he has Ranger's Resolve. And even if he has Ranger's Resolve, I can kind of clear it later. That keg there was massive. Let's just open attack here. This is quite a threatening attack. For sure. We're like winning the board at the moment, so it's like really good. Let's go for the Yodel Grifter. We can actually delete this warning shot. Interesting. I've got a weird play I can make here. I'm gonna go for the make it rain. Sets up for an interesting mystic shot. I'm kind of threatened by the fact that he could play Lucian now. So I, I couldn't really do it in tandem though. The static shock's pretty good. I haven't seen Rangers Resolve yet. Alright, 
I'm just gonna tank this, I think. I like this open attack a lot. I wonder if developing would achieve anything interesting. I'll take this attack while I can. I lose my board, I trade down his board. He's like, his board is a lot more important than ours though. And I've got the resources in hand to like, achieve some different stuff. He can grant this elusive. That's a bit of a problem. I'm gonna go for the powder cake here. I forgot that they run ghost in this deck. So I might be losing here. Unless of course he develops. I can stun it actually, that'd be huge if he allows me to do that. Yeah, this stun's very, very, very important. That stun is very, very important, guys. Very, that was close, close. I'm gonna see if I can higher roll with the make it rain. Should I do it? Should I clear the um? That's incredibly unlucky. Especially if he has rallies in hand. So I can't go for play number one. But if he develops, okay, we have to calculate this, right? If he develops something, we'll see what this card is first of all. It is a unit. Okay, what's the stun mean? I lose to Rally if I don't clear the Green Glade duo. So this is the play. The final cards in his hand, like Ranger's Resolve can bum. I'm gonna play my Zap Spray Fin. I can draw like a useful card. Interesting. Yeah, it's kind of what I expected might be happening. So at least I know what card he has in hand. So we can go for the Yodel Grifter now. We can also play Pick a Card if we don't find anything useful. I'm convinced that the final card in his hand might be a Rally. So knowing that this attack should be fine. If he has like one other card that's not a rally effect, then we're, we're, we're okay. Cool, so this pick a card is pretty much going to be super, super busted. Okay, as soon as he develops, I think we just fuck him up. I could also flip my... It's just Rex, for sure. One card in hand. One card in hand, guys. Not much to play around there. And this, like, pick a card's low key doing some pretty cool stuff. Love me some Twisted Fate is real. <laughs> 